Welcome to Caprock Canyons. Okay, this place is special, all right? It's home of a herd of bison, which I've already seen twice. I stopped at this little area to get the camera stuff out. But what I'm doing, I'm hiking from there, in there, and we're going to find somewhere to sleep at. Now, this is the desert right here, and I'm excited to be here. It's a beautiful day. No clouds or nothing. The sun is out. I got my Darth Vader cap. So I'm gonna strap the camera into my trusty old chest mount here. And we're gonna get to hiking. We're gonna find somewhere to lay down and enjoy the night under the stars in the middle of the desert with the bisons and the coyotes and the raccoons. Stick around for some some more of this if you like stuff like this stay tuned suckers well 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 what a sight to behold I ain't used to wide open spaces like this so I got about a mile or so to my designated camping area uh, but I might do some exploring first before I make camp. We still got three hours of sunlight. Getting to be about 3 p.m. So two and a half, three hours of sunlight. Last night at Lake Arrowhead, the moon was so bright that I could still see perfect in the nighttime. So, maybe tonight it'll be the same way. Wow. Oh. Now, I could tell y'all for a fact, Jack, that this camera ain't doing you justice to the actual scope of this area. This place is huge. That top over there, miles away for sure. More bison poop. He said he got a few that roam these trails. And I believe him. That don't look too old. Still looks damp. Haynes Ridge Overlook Trailhead. Okay, all right. Scope the map. All right, I got a place to sit. I probably will do this now. Okay. I started here. Can you see? I started here. I'm going up here. I'm supposed to camp by this area. And where we at right now is this trailhead that is going to lead up to the ridge. So I'll probably go scope it out maybe on the way out tomorrow or if I set camp at half time I'll go up there. But there ain't no camping on the Haines Ridge Overlook Trail. Too steep. Time is it? What time? Let's see. 2.43? Three hours till the sun goes down? Yeah, what the hell, let's do it. It's only two miles. I don't see no markings. <laughs> Have to follow the footprints instead of blazes. Oh my god. 
God, is this trail? Gotta be. There were no other paths. Oh, this is gonna be fun coming back down. Excuse my breathing. Here's the view from what feels to me like Pride Rock. It's the right way. Get back to that little bench. Find a spot to lay down. good to be out of the rain. Boy, that ain't the truth, Neil. Feels good to be out of the rain. Not a single cloud. Nope. Dodge a few turns. I got a privy coming up here that I'm probably gonna have to use. I don't think they want you making a mess out here due to the sensitive nature of the ecosystem and wildlife. North Prong Primitive Camping Area. All right, here we are. Okay, camera's going off while I go in here. I gotta find a spot to lay down in all this mess. The two good spots I took in already, it looks like. And I don't wanna camp close. You can see everything around huh? Plus it's COVID time, they might be infected. So I'll probably have to go down there in them flat parts and uh, just pick a spot. Oh, lost my hat. Good thing it has a clip that I clipped onto myself. I was hoping that from this vantage point here that I would be able to see some spots. But all I see is tents that are there before me. Anyways, I'll go back down and try to find an area to live until tomorrow morning. I see a mesa over there that might be cool. It's not too windy. Of course. Two people already over Here we go. This is gonna probably be the spot. Yep. 
even got a bench. Well, turn this camera off and uh, set my little camp and soak up this view. Goodness gracious. Amazing. Next time one of y'all suckers is going to have to come with me. It's less fun when you don't have nobody to share it with. So, that's why I share it with all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, man. They don't make that where I'm from. No, they do not. Camp. All set up and ready to go. What a beautiful spot. But I was thinking, check this out. Tell me what y'all think if I survive. So, I was like looking at this cliff like, oh yeah, protected from the wind and stuff and like the sun. Yeah, now I'm, I'm in the shade, everything else super sunny. So that's cool, I'm not getting a sunburn. But then I thought, man, look at all those rocks that fell down that cliff. And then I thought, man, what if that happens while I'm sleeping right there? But then I looked a little closer and they got this area here where they would obviously come and not hit me probably or at least not as hard they got all these plants right in front of me to save me and then over here is definitely the path of least resistance if a boulder comes comes crashing down so you know people obviously camp here judging by the fires that you're not supposed to make but uh Maybe it's allowed sometimes, but yeah, hopefully no giant rock slides happen while I'm sleeping right here for the next, I don't know, I'm probably only be right here until 9-ish a.m., 4 o'clock right now, so 17 hours, I gotta survive. Talk about pretty, oh god, dude. it don't stop. And it's huge in person. Everything you see in is 20 times bigger than what it shows on this camera. And then the bottom is just flat. Nothing, nothing but bushes. Keep my eyes out for them bisons. I've seen a few earlier. You can see movement real easy from a vantage point like this. I've been seeing hikers walk past and stuff so hopefully we'll see some bison roaming from a distance if I saw one up close I'd be okay with it but you know wildlife big ones especially it's best to keep your distance at least 50 yards they recommend for a bison at least but uh, anyways hanging out now we just gonna enjoy oh, the rest of the day. The moon is rising up there. Can you see it? Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's right in the middle of the shot. Almost a full moon. Nothing in the way, so I should be able to see pretty good tonight by moonlight. And again. Then I'm gonna watch the sky and go to bed and get up early with the sunrise, which is gonna be directly in front of me so that I'll be able to watch it over the valley in the morning and uh, then we're going to go to the next thing wherever that might be thanks for sticking with me this far if something cool happens I'll let y'all know y'all check this out I come exploring down here in the area beyond where I put my tent. And it's treacherous, but I found something very cool. Look, there's my old footprints. That's how you tell if you're not lost. But look at this. So, <clears throat> this rock here is interesting because that is ripples from water. This whole area, I believe, used to be a sea. A giant ocean. And in the sandstone is left behind ripples from the bottom of the water some in some places and um, that's super interesting 
to see in the wild. Usually you see stuff like that in a museum, but I found one all on my own. I don't see any more like it. They're all flat like these and crumbly and stuff. So it's amazing that that survived. I'm talking about millions and millions of years. Nothing had to mess that rock up. And I'm going to leave it be for somebody else to come and say, wow, when they see it too. But, uh, yeah, that was something that <clears throat> that I needed to share. Excuse me, I got a, it's dusty. Okay, the wind is kicking up dust around here. And uh, I got a big mouthful a minute ago. And so I'm having to clear my throat a lot. So please excuse me. If if you come out here, bring a face covering, whether it's COVID or not. I'm about to put my mask on just to keep that dust out of my face. The moon still rising. Oh, it's going to be such a pretty night. Yeah, well, on I go. It's about to be sunset. I might move to the desert. I like it over here. I like being able to see far. In the forest where I usually hang out. You can't see nothing except trees. And I like that. Makes you feel cozy. But man, I mean you could see to the horizon. And it's not water. Spectacular. That's beautiful right though. Something else. You could tell it's windy all the time because all the tree bark on these little bushy, sprucey looking, cedar looking trees is smooth like a rock at the bottom of a river would be. Amazing landscape. I don't know if you can pick it up, but now that the sun is not so extreme, you can see all one gazillion different colors. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's still dusty. In the layers of the rock. I mean, it, it looks like a paintbrush strokes. It's amazing. A must see in my opinion, if you like exploring. Jaw drop. I mean, maybe it's because I'm from the swamp. You know, maybe if you brought somebody that was from here down to where I'm from and they saw that Spanish moss, they might drop too. I have to go find a swampy park. Maybe that'll be the next one. Go down. Go down in the swamp and camp behind the house I grew up in. And see if we can't get eaten by some crazy animal. Guarantee you they got more dangerous stuff back there than they do in here. Bison included. Well now that y'all got a good look at the surroundings. I'm gonna go enjoy it with my eyeballs some more before it's too late that that over there though i hope i hope it comes out in the video so bad because the colors are incredible perfectly level perfectly level That's, that blows my mind how did it do that how did it make itself perfectly flat i guess the weight of the sediment on top just pushed it as hard as it could that's my guess. If you're a geologist, leave a comment and tell me if I'm right or wrong. Look, you can even see them kind of coming out. Like each one of those little white spots in a horizontal line is, is a different layer. And you can't tell as much from up close, but each, each spot in between the white lines is a different color red. And from up close, it looks jagged and rough because it is 
but from far it looks smooth like a like wet sand that somebody drug their fingers through or that you poured water on top of a sand castle which I guess is exactly what it is now that I just described it that way it's the rain that fell and washed it all away and that's what made the canyon And I got this beautiful moon to watch all night long. I drove over 700 miles. Totally worth it. Oh man. Oh, it's getting pretty. The sky's turning purple and blue and pink and orange. something else right there. Look at that. Man, maybe I'll do a time lapse. And if it works, I'll insert it to the video right now. up y'all can you see me I have to be careful where I point this light at so this may be the last clip of the evening but maybe it won't I don't know it's officially dark the stars are out it's a beautiful setting and uh, I'm looking forward to an extremely peaceful night in the middle of nowhere Texas so if this is the last you hear from me for the evening Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the morning. What's up, y'all? Who that light's bright? Oh, God. Alright. Well, uh, so... Can you still see me? So, uh... Okay. Well, hey, everyone. I'm in the tent all hunkered down, uh, what was a very pleasant afternoon has turned into a very, very windy evening. It's not outrageous, but the calm, serene stillness of the evening has transitioned into a quite a blustery nighttime. But I got a good pitch on this tent. Stakes are still holding tight. Get a big gust every now and then. It's blowing dust everywhere. Can you see? Have to brush that off tomorrow. But uh, yep. Yeah. Try and go to sleep now. Good morning everybody. Just waking up here at Caprock Canyons and it's still just as windy as when I left to go to sleep. Uh, the sun's not all the way up yet, it's about 7. So, about, about as soon as I can see, I think I'm going to get up and pack it up and start hiking. Cause, uh, Try to be in this tent, listening to it flap. That's how it is. We'll see what the next part of the day brings us. Probably some wind.
was right by my head. Sorry for the bad camera angle, but if I move, he's gonna fly away. He's kind of chunky. There he goes. Oh, I'm crooked along. There we go. I'm dusty. It's still windy. Slept pretty good considering. I actually slept better. Better last night than I did the night before. Even with the wind, I'll tell you what. Oh, it was windy. At least 40 mile an hour. Gusts, at least. Probably more. This is an awesome tent, though. Uh, anybody's considering a tarp tent pro trail that lives near high winds? Oh, that bird's back. Holy crap, is he about to come in my tent? Whoa. Oh, man, I thought he was about to hop up in here and peck my sleeping pad to death. Where's he at? That's my little pod. Sorry, we had to interrupt the monologue uh, because of a cool wildlife encounter with a tiny bird. But it looked like he gone. Well, he's probably just out of sight. Man, the mesh is over. He could have come right in there. What, what do I do? What do I do if I start getting pecked by a tiny bird? Do I attack him back? Poor thing, he's so small. Ain't got no food, I don't know what he wants. Maybe I'm sleeping on top of a worm. Hey, he was putting in the work though. I heard him chirping before the sun. An early bird, he's gonna get that worm. He might have gotten already, he's looking for a brunch. I don't see him no more. He comes back, I'm gonna try and flip the camera. Anyways, here's the plan, Stans. Uh, since I don't have any coffee with me, that's all at the car. And since I don't have no breakfast with me, because that's all at the car. I'm going to pack all this stuff up and go back to the trail. Hike around a little while. And, um... Explore and then head to the next destination. Hmm. This is probably gonna be a place called Copper Breaks State Park. Uh, I gotta look at the weather, see what that's gonna do. Because this is as far as I really planned my trip out. Um, but Copper Breaks seems cool because it's an international dark sky park. And it was the sky was really dark over here last night, but the moon's been so bright that you can't. It's the boo. It's bright, bright, bright. Oh, it's almost full. It's gonna be full on the 29th. Today's the 27th. And I got a beautiful view of the moon all night last night. And I'd imagine that's what it's gonna be like. At the next part, I can't imagine that it could get much darker than this place. It's in the middle of nothing. Amarillo is kind of far away, which is the nearest bigger city. So, yeah, and that's not too far from here. It's only like an hour and a half or so of a drive, which in Texas, in Texas, time is short. It's like going to your neighbor's house. Anyways, time to start packing it up and hitting the old dusty trail. Literally, I'm dusty. The trail's dusty. It's dusty. I got dust in my teeth. I like that. <sighs> Can't believe this tent stayed up through that. Some of those gusts were like trying to pick me up. 
crazy. Hey, go up and let y'all watch the sunrise with me while I get my gear. Doing you enjoying that sunrise? took it down. I took that tent down. Not the wind and that's very important. Good job tarp tent. And good job me for pitching it perfectly. Highly, highly suggest if you come over here to get some stakes like this. This is a sand stake. It's a V-shape. You could also use something like the MSR Groundhog. Or if I prefer the minis, because they're lighter. I also bring some of these, because I was scared it, it would be too rocky to put this in. But this worked great. Definitely more sandy, loose dirt than rock. Don't come out here with no nails or shepherd hook or nothing like that. Get some substantial stakes. the sun. Isn't that a sight to behold? It's bright. Don't look at it directly. all packed up. I'll give y'all one good look around again. Then I'm turning this camera off till I leave. Because, oh, look at it. That tent's about to fly away. Oh my god. I told you it was windy. I bet y'all was more protected from it right there than they was. They all out in the open down now. No way. Or maybe it was worse because it was going up that cliff. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I made it. That's what I know. Anyway, soak it up, suckers. Highly recommend coming out here and doing this yourself. It's awesome. Now I'm going back that way through, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a small gap in between that mesa right by my finger and this one. And it's like a little path that you hike through called a trail. I'll leave you with a gorgeous view of the sunrise. And we're gonna see you next time. Bye-bye now. I found him. Had a bison encounter. That sucker was... I was on my way out. Driving out. Stopped to wash my hands in this little restroom area. And I cut
come out and there he was 20 feet away from me and he he just mows you know so after he was a safe distance I grabbed the camera there they go two of them oh and a prairie dog can you see the prairie dog I don't know how to zoom this camera how do you zoom on a GoPro well I have to read the instructions I ain't gonna get too close, but I'm gonna get close enough where you can see. They got good camouflage. Oh, you can see all their little holes. They live right here. Look at that. Pair of dogs and bisons all hanging out. Can you see them? I ain't gonna get too much close, so I don't wanna scare them. That's awesome. That totally completes the trip. Right, the last thing that happened, right on the way out the door. Both the animals on with this. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye until the next video. Thank y'all so much for watching. See you next time. More bison. They just hanging out. Isn't that something special? They just hang out over here. Glad I got to see a few. I know I said goodbye already, but I can't I came back because of the bison's. But now that I'm driving, I definitely gotta turn this camera off. So I'll see y'all again when I get to my next adventure area, wherever that may be.